Hello and welcome to another Vakin tutorial. Today we're going to add NPCs, we're going to make them have dialogues, and we're going to make them have choices. And it's super easy, you can do it in less than a minute. So with that said, let's get started. Alright, so we're going to have an NPC right here, has some dialogue and some choices. So first we're going to do is click events, make sure stationary is highlighted. And here we have a bunch of custom event templates that you can just plop out there and get dialogue and choices going. It's so convenient. There's a stationary speak, which is just one dialogue. And then there's a stationary question, which is going to give you your choices template. I'm just going to plop that in there. You can change the graphics if you want. You can add a large graphic if you want with the emotion. You can change the original question or text. And then you can change the original answers. And then I'm going to hit OK. And I'm going to press E. And that's going to allow me to adjust the angle. So I'll face her that way. And if you did not know, there's hotkeys for this. So E is the hotkey for angle. W is the hotkey for position. And then R is the hotkey for scaling. Really useful hotkeys to... To learn in this engine. And so from there, we can actually play test and it will give us our default dialogue and show choices. So we're going to say no. And then we'll say yes. And there we go. Okay, now you want to further customize this event, you're going to right click, click edit script, event script. And then down here, there's going to be convert to custom event, you're going to click okay, that you know that you can't convert it back to a template. And then you can come in here and see what exactly what they were doing. So the first thing they did was display a conversation. Then they played a sound effect. And then they went to select from selection and check results. So this is what they're using for their dialogue choice system. If you click on the plus here and go to con uh, conditional judgment, at the very top, you see select from selection and check results. So that's what they're using. If you ever need to use that, there you go for for an easy choices. Now, when you convert it to a custom event, it's going to change the positioning. Notice it was center before. So if you still want it center, make sure that you're aware of that. I, I don't know if that's a bug or not. And then you can see that here's the two choices and here's the two branches. So we're just going to simply add one that says maybe. And then down here, we're just going to add a simple conversation, display conversation. And we're going to say, well, aren't you just nice? All right. And it is as simple as that. Now you can add some more stuff. I mean, the world is your oyster when it comes to this choice system, you can add screen effects, camera adjustments, change player stats, all this sorts of stuff. But for just easy tutorial use, we'll just do display conversation, we'll click OK, we'll click test play. And we will talk to her again. And now we have our third option. And well, aren't you just nice? That is how easy choices are in Bakin. So hopefully this tutorial helped you out. If you do like this video, like, subscribe. There's going to be more Bakin content coming out. If you have any questions, comments below. Steam Forms will get you figured out. And with that said, I'll see you at the next video.